How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with a- another video for you guys. And with this one, we're going to talk about uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. Now, first off, I think I should probably mention that at first I was contemplating of whether or not uh, getting premiere access for this movie or waiting for it to become free on Disney Plus. And at some point I was thinking, okay, this, this movie looks good. The trailers actually look really freaking amazing. And unfortunately, in case people have not seen my other, other reviews, especially with animation, you guys know I'm a sucker for animation. So I went ahead, checked it out, and I'm not going to lie, I wasn't disappointed. The movie itself is directed by uh, Don Hall, Carlos Lopez Estrada, hopefully I said na the name correctly. Um, starring, uh, some of the people that are, yeah, that is stars, uh, Kelly Marie Tran, um, Aqua Farron, Farney, hopefully I said that correctly, I, I know I screwed it up somehow, um, uh, Gemma Chen, and many others. Um, just a quick syno a synopsis of the, of the whole film, um, you have, um, I, uh, individual from five realms in this setting or the story um, who is trying to collect shards of this magical gem that is supposed to hopefully stop a apocalyptic threat um, also in order to do so they try to bring back one of the last quote-unquote dragons now I will say um, for like usually with like films sometimes they'll give us like a like a long backstory for this one it was like maybe i want to say maybe how 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 long would i would what i want to i want to say like maybe 15 20 minutes at least like going to the backstory of like how everything goes like terribly wrong um but all in all it's actually really cool and then as soon as that like as soon as the flashback ends we get a lot of cool stuff, and it just, it's almost action pack throughout the entire film. And the variety of different characters that we get to see is really awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of which one. I think, if anything, if I were to pick a favorite, um, strangely enough, uh, the dragon itself, uh, Sisu, was probably one of my favorites. Um, as well as the con baby that we see in the trailers, as well as the film. Um, and I believe, uh, the big guy who, uh, if I remember correctly is played by Benedict Wong. So, um, all, all in all, um, it, it, it was a good variety of different characters. I, I really, really, really enjoyed, um, each and every one of the characters that we get to see. Um. As, as I mentioned before, because, again, I am a sucker for animation. The animation is just gorgeous. I can't stress this enough. This is a beautiful animation. Again, I am a sucker for a, for good, good animation. And I will praise it till the cows come home. This is a gorgeous animated movie. Um, music itself that we, I mean, that they have intertwined in the story is actually really nice. I love the melodies. I would well, I'd love to get or purchase the score for this particular film. I really enjoyed it. Now, since I've, I've talked about briefly about how action packed this is, this film really is. Let's talk about the action because, oh my gosh, um, to some extent, it kind of remind me of like some of um, some martial arts uh, martial arts films. I can't think of any on the top of my head right now, but um, as I'm recording this, but when you, when we get to the action, it is it is very well done. I really enjoyed it, um, but to some extent, I, I will say that too. It, it's <sighs> Again, I have to go back to it. It's the animation's fucking good. I, I want to say more about this. It it is just it is, 
it's one of those films I would recommend to everybody. Like, give it a give it a watch. It is such a fun, fun animation. Now, I will say, because um, I know some people, I think, nagged about the story, which, it, to to be fair, it, it's because again, you have five as the basic plot. You have five realms that are broken, and the basis, the basic theme is bringing everyone together. Okay, I get that. But I think in the way, the way they go about it is actually really nice. And how we have like some, like, I got, uh, you know what? I got, uh, I, I hate to use this as a reference, but it's like, um, if you I guess, if I, I know a lot of people probably haven't at this point, but for those who have never seen um, the Rock and Bass Rudolph film, the, like, everybody's a misfit to some extent. Raya's a misfit. Um, Bone is a mis... Bon? I feel like... I think it's Bon. Bon is a misfit. Sisu? Definitely a misfit. Um, Benja? Um, and all the other characters. Like, every single one of these characters, at least the characters that we had solely accumulate to become, like, friends, they're all misfits in their own way. Especially with, you know, everything that's going on that is causing, you know, their world to be completely and utterly destroyed. And I'm going to say I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was done really well. So, with that being said, I enjoyed it. Characters are awesome. Action is fun. Animation is... I think this is the first curse word I've used in this entire review. Really fucking gorgeous. Music. I want to buy it. And just all in all, it is really fun to watch. So, if you guys have a chance, whether you guys decide to get uh, the premiere access or wait, I recommend watching this film. It is such a good movie. With that being said, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, but, like I said, go watch it. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow our social media and our Discord, links are in the description down below, as well as check out our daily content and weekly podcast. I usually upload videos between 6, noon, and 6, and our weekly podcast is on 6 p.m. Pacific time. With that being said, this is Rob of Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.